Excuse me. Um, I believe we do, yes, ma'am, under the sink. Good morning, Fedez. How are you? Hey there. How are you doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. How about you? Good, good. Started out the day a little rocky. I had a migraine this morning, so I was like, oh my gosh, give me a minute to oh, get no. myself together. Yeah, I get migraines. Not very often anymore, actually, but today was just one of those days, but um, I'm glad Excedrin exists. <laughs> <laughs> right. Adrian is my best friend, um, so I'm feeling a lot better. But I'm super excited about today's training. I'm just going to give everyone a couple of minutes to log on, of course. We have um, Martha Maldonado talking to us about home warranties today, so I'm excited about that. I can't that. wait. I'm actually heading to the to? office right now. Okay. I'm heading to the office. I got some paperwork, uh, and I just got caught up with uh, getting some documents this morning. So I was planning to get in at like 10, so I'm like an hour late. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, I can't miss this. So I'm going to be joining in, but I'll, I'll probably have the camera off. That's okay. Um, because That's I'm okay. going to be driving. So I'm going to be just listening in. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And I saw what happened yesterday. I saw the videos. I didn't know the whole uh, participants were being recorded. Oh, yes. Like, you know, we always say that we're recording, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see the recording sign like on on your screen, but not on mine. So I'm like, oh, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> like like the time I was in the car, I, I think my nephew's <laughs> leg came showing in the back. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I appreciate you showing your face. I'm I'm telling you, cause not everybody does. So this is good practice for everybody. Well, it's cause you see so you have experience on video too. I'm telling you, a lot of these guys they just don't feel comfortable. So I understand, mm -hmm. but it's good practice. But it's also for part. I feel like it's more active. Like I don't know, like people showing their face, their reactions. Mm -hmm. You know, like oh, um, hmm, interesting or. Right, yeah. right. Like, Definitely. It gives I you do feedback. Yeah, I do gauge like when I can see you guys. Um that's why I ask a lot of questions and if I if I can at least hear you guys say yes or no then it's helpful but it's usually everybody's on mute so if I can see you guys and I'm like okay, they're getting it or let's let's slow down and go over that again. So yeah, mm. it's really helpful when you guys are on, but I appreciate you, you know, at being there or like right now, if you're going to turn your screen off, it's okay. I know you're, you're usually a very active participant. Mm -hmm. So Miss Connie is about to join and we'll give it about four more minutes. Okay. I'll head back on the road. Then. Sounds good. Good morning, Connie. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. Good, good. So we're going to give everybody a few minutes to log on. Um, I was just talking to Fedes, catching up with him. And today we're speaking to Miss Marta Maldonado. Si la conoces, Connie? She left more days ago. Okay. Que bueno. Well, so let's give it just a few more minutes.
What are you up to today, Connie? Perdón. ¿Qué, qué vas a hacer hoy? ¿Qué tienes uh, pendiente hoy? Hoy, oh, linda, pues me están mandando muchas este, rentas. Uh -huh. Estoy trabajando con algunas personas que quieren rentar y luego tengo open house con deal to deal. Oh, good. Ellos. Sí, tengo un buen rato con ellos sentándome en los open house. Me deja ahí esta um, Frances Montes, que es de Home Prost. Ajá. Me deja sentarme ahí. Ah, qué suave. Sí tienen bonitas casas ellos, ¿verdad? Hermosas. Sí, y yeah. con la experiencia que tengo con la construcción, este, eh, déjame decirte que construyen muy buena calidad. Qué bueno. Pues a ver sí. si nos puedes dar un, un tour al equipo um, uno de estos días para que cuando salga algo que, que quieren uh, construcción nueva, pues también te, te avisen a ti para ayudarte también. So maybe we can do something like that. Bueno, sí, este, lo, uh, les puedo ayudar a los agentes, pero no tengo ningún beneficio, al menos que yo agarre un cliente uh, sin agente. Pero de todos oh, modos, yo les mando okay. las listas, uh, les mando las listas de, de deal to deal, uh -huh. o cuando me piden información, yes. con mis gustos yes. las doy. Donde sí me sentaba, que todavía no hay modelo, es en Carefree. Okay. En Carefree, si ayudamos a los agentes que traen sus clientes, si nos dan un, un bono, una cantidad de gratificación, si ayudamos a una gente con su cliente. Y ahí, este, hasta que no haya una modelo, Jolie ahí es la que me deja sentar, Jolie Stanton. Ok. Ahí le acaban de dar una comunidad, pero como no hay modelo, allá en el oeste aún no nos podemos sentar. Pero de todos modos también les mando listas cuando, cuando tenemos el inventario y les mando siempre información de todos los agentes en donde, en de diferentes comunidades. Sí, claro, y nos deja saber cómo te podemos ayudar. Podemos hacer un, como te digo, un tour o una clase en una de las casas modelos, lo que te ayude, ¿ok? Tú nos dejas saber. Claro que sí, linda, muchas gracias. De nada. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining. Thank you for jumping on. So, um, I think we have a, a pretty good group now. So, um, today we're going to be speaking to Miss Martha Maldonado for anybody that just joined us. Um, she works with Old Republic Home Protection and she's actually been in the industry for quite a few years now. Um, if I remember correctly, I believe she told me that she either got her real estate license before this or her mortgage. I, I want to say it was her real estate license. We'll clarify as soon as she jumps on. Um, but she's been in the industry for a very long time and, and I'm almost positive it was her real estate license. And that's really what sets her apart from everybody else. Not only is the company that she works with such a great company to work with because they have really good rates, um, for the, for the initial per purchase of the home warranty package, but also for the clients afterwards when they use it for the service calls. Um, she has exceptional customer service skills. So when it comes to your clients needing additional help, she's really good at helping them out. Um, and, and she's just, she's just so knowledgeable within the real estate industry. So it's just an added bonus, um, that she, she works in, in home warranty department, but she's very knowledgeable in real estate. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring her into the conference room so that we can give her a, a warm welcome. Okay. Good morning, Martha. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. I uh, I just filled everybody in on on you and just introducing you. I gave you a, a quick, I gave them a quick bio. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I want to say that you said you were a you were a licensed real estate agent um, a few years ago, right? Before you joined the home warranty de department. <laughs> Yes, actually, I've been, uh, I was a builder's rep for five years, and I was a realtor for five years, and now I've been with Old Republic for 11. So I've been in your shoes. When I see some things come up, I've definitely, have probably seen them come through. And yes, I've been in this industry for about 20 years, or a little bit over 20 years. Nice. And I love what I do because I know that this is going to help agents, and you'll see some of our tools and why. 
Yeah, definitely. And that's what I was telling them. Um, you know, from my experience with you, you're very knowledgeable. And a lot of that comes from previous knowledge that you had as a real estate agent or just being in different shoes in the real estate industry. Um, and then now transferring it over into um, the home warranty industry. I mean, it, it really sets you apart. And then not only that, but the company that you work for, their rates are so good, um, not only just for the purchase of the packages, but also for the service fees for our clients. Um, so I'm really excited to have you talk to the team. A lot of our agents are new agents. Some of our agents are a little more senior, but they're, you know, trying to get refresh themselves and going through that continued education, which we really promote. Um, Cause you know, things change and sometimes I know I've used companies for years and then I bring them on to speak to the agents and I'm like, Oh, I didn't know that, you know, just little things here and there that pop up. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and, and get started. Um, first, what, if you can tell us what exactly is a home warranty? Okay. Well, a home warranty is systems and appliance. It's some systems and appliances that break down due to normal wear and use. These were pretty much provided by, um, Realtors just like you back in the 70s in California, they started in California because after transactions, they would end up paying for a broken AC, a broken water heater. They're like, well, you sold me this home. You should have known that this was going to come up. So basically, that's um, we are here to service systems and appliances, what makes the home function due to normal wear and use, basically. Right. And, and which ones, I guess you said systems and appliances. So what are the most commonly um, called upon system and systems and appliances? I think plumbing and AC, obviously the summer it was crazy. Our, as you know, everybody was working from home. So a lot more ovens were used that were never used before. <laughs> uh, a lot more, the AC was on 24 seven. Um, so probably the number one is going to be AC and number two is going to be anything with plumbing, having plumbing. This summer we had a lot of appliances and what's crazy is since everybody was, you know, a lot of things were shut down, parts are, are hard to find. Even if you're like looking to purchase a new refrigerator or washer dryer, I don't know if you've come across that, there's a hold to like three to four months. So, you know, that's, but those are the main ones. It's yeah. The, so I'm, I'm, I'm not even surprised to hear that, but just for any, any of the new agents that have yet to go through an actual transaction from start to finish, um, Martha mentioned the AC, the air conditioner. You guys know how important an air conditioner is here in El Paso. Our summers are brutal. And if you don't have an AC functioning, it's, I mean, it, it this is going to be something that's going to create a, a, a really bad experience for your clients if they move into the house and two weeks later the AC is not working and you told them that they have some type of protection um, and they don't or they don't have that protection so um, before I get too deep into it we're gonna get into it but um, these are just kind of some of the things to keep in the back of your mind how big of a superhero are you going to be as a realtor if the AC stops working after two weeks of being in their house and you have a fix for it. And so we're going to go over how you can be that superhero. Um, so if you can explain how, how is it that home warranties are used during a real estate transaction? Great. Well, there's a couple of ways of doing it. I'm not sure if you've all heard of seller's coverage. Seller's coverage was like, I had to triple check this when I first started with the home warranties. It just sounded too good to be true. So whenever you have a listing, you're able to get uh, what something that we call seller's coverage is only $75. It's not due until time of closing. And this is going to protect your home while the home is listed. Um, I don't recommend it on vacant homes. And the reason for that is they're going to ask, was this due to normal wear and use? And if there's nobody using it, it's going to be, it's not going to be covered because we don't cover pre-existing conditions. However, we have replaced ACs, we have replaced water heaters. There's been, there's been plenty of plumbing leaks. It saves the transaction. Many times they're wanting, um, on the inspection report, it may read water heater should be replaced due to it's exceeded its lifetime. And you're like, there's nothing wrong with it. However, we're giving you a new wa a new uh, a warranty. If and when it breaks down, it's going to take care of that. And many times they want to speak to us. And yes, we 
definitely confirm that. And so it saves many transactions. That's the first way of using it. The second way is right. Um, you want to have the warranty set up. We take, we take over right after the day, the day of closing. So we don't cover things that were on the inspection report from two months ago, let's say. It's from this day on forward, just like whenever you have a vehicle and you take it to, your, uh, to get insurance, they're not gonna cover something that if it's a wrecked car on the way there. So it's from this day on forward, the day of closing, um, even if we haven't received payment, if we just have some sort of proof from title that it's coming to us. And the reason for that is sometimes we've taken care of things and it went to a different home warranty, yet, you know, we, they said it was coming over here. So um, it'll cover from this day on forward. As long as the AC turned on, as long as the water heater actually turned on and it's not red tagged, because we've had that unfortunately where they call, and they say, you know, the water heater, um, the water company came out and there are, you know, the gas company came out and now it's red tagged and we need you to fix it. It had to work properly on the effective date of the plan. So one thing we recommend is not, not disconnecting service, but actually transferring. And then from that, you don't have that problem, but that issue was coming up so much. Um, we just had a situation not that long ago. They closed on a Friday, moved in over the weekend and the water wasn't going through when they were doing their laundry. Once they called us on Monday, all the plumbing underneath the home had burst. And so, yeah, so you're like, wait, this is my new home. Um, within two days, actually within that week, we paid about close to $5,000, which is great because that's what we're here for. It was just an unknown issue, unknown pre-existing condition. So there were plumbing issues, there were slab leaks. And by this time, the agent really did look like a hero instead of spending $5,000, their buyers that were like, you know, we just spend everything on, on getting into this home. They spent $75 and we were able to take care of a, a lot of what was what the issues were at that point. So definitely before the sale, after the sale, and it's just that peace of mind because um, if you, at the end, I can show you some of the, the marketing tools that we have. It's a great way to keep in touch for, with them for the years to come as well. And so the warranty is gonna be a great asset in, in reference to how it's gonna protect your clients and serve for you as you to look like a hero. Yeah, and I guess that's, that's actually a pretty good transition so we can talk about the packages. So um, again, a lot of our, our agents are brand, brand new. So all of this is like very new information. Um, if you're anything like me, the warranties and the insurance are a little confusing uh, in, in the beginning, um, but, it's pretty simple once you actually take a look at it. And um, Martha leaves, um, she leaves us brochures at the office all the time. Um, if you go into the back area, the workstation area, you'll see, yes, you'll see those booklets and you can go through it and see um, what the packages look like. Um, I'll let Martha explain the packages, but essentially there's three main packages, right? Three or four. There's three, yes, there's there's three, and then I can touch on Cress another time, but there's also something that we call Cress. Before you had to be a Cress office, and now you don't have to. It's slightly more, but it covers roof automatically, and it's 13 months, so, you know, we can, def I, I believe I left you some of those brochures as well. Our packages um, are at 405, 510, um, actually 650 there's there's three but then there's some that you can do with options so it's mm -hmm. the four or five being the basic um and then from there is the 510 which is the ultimate i strongly recommend at least that ultimate at least that middle one and the reason for that if you when you get an opportunity or if you want to text me your email or email me your info i'll send you a pdf brochure so you can have this Everything on the top right hand side of page four is included with that ultimate protection, which is substantial. It's going to be a lot of coverage that'll be covered on here. It's over 40 items. And I'll give you a brief example. Let's say you have a water heater that goes out and that water heater was a 12 year old water heater. And obviously it's not up to code and they have the basic. Um, we're going to go ahead and replace the water heater, but you're going to get a call asking, why am I having to pay $500 out of pocket? I thought I have this warranty. That's for permits. It's for code upgrades or it's for disposal of unit. 
Had they had that ultimate for only $100 more, we pay for permits up to $250, we pay for our code upgrades up to $250, disposal of unit. And then the other plan is the 665, which is platinum, and that one we pay up to a thousand, up to a thousand of modifications. So um, it definitely is great for you to look at and at least get that ultimate. We also have some in the middle that cover washer, dryer, refrigerator. Um, and just to point out, many times the agents will let, let the, the buyers know, you know, this is coming with all of your appliances are covered. Um, and then the refrigerator goes out and they call us and it's like, sorry, you don't have refrigerator coverage. Well, the stove, the dishwasher, the vent hood, the built-in microwave and garbage disposal are the basic appliances covered. Washer, dryer and refrigerator with every home warranty is gonna be an option, either an option by itself or an option with a packet. But um, it's just good for you to know that the refrigerator is gonna be an option overall. And she touches on the refrigerator because that's one of those appliances that most clients want covered or expect to be covered. So, you know, she's pointing out certain things because these are the things that come up a lot. So make sure that if, um, if you just worked with a buyer and they're loving that refrigerator, you know, some refrigerators are cooler than others. And some buyers are a lot more excited about that refrigerator than others or um, some of your clients are um, tight on cash and you you usually know this um, by the time we're we're going to submitting offers so you know just to to overview on what Martha said try to get them as much money towards that home warranty as possible but at least try to get them that middle package which is the platinum the ultimate oh, uh, yeah. ultimate, ultimate the one for 510 so remember we had a training on how to go how to submit your offer and what to plug in there was a line on that offer where it talks about um they call it something else on the on the contract home service i believe it is um that's service contract i believe is what right. is it residential service contract yes residential service contract thank you that's the there's one blank in there where you get to fill in how much the seller will contribute towards the home warranty but on the contract they call it residential service contract so that's where you want to ask for at least the 510 you can start higher at the 615 um, 65 will be the platinum uh, uh, six 615 will be with washer dryer fridge ultimate so just and so we you can always can, take up to a $15 shortage so if you have something coming up and you had 495 or you just have 600 we can take up to a $15 shortage that uh, for your clients okay um, so so what exactly is the difference between the home warranty and the homeowner's insurance? Because they do sound very similar. Yes, on that whole thing. Thanks for asking. That's a great question. So let's say your water heater goes out and it, it, there's water everywhere. It's going to mess up your hardwood floors or your carpet, your sheetrock. Um, you're going to call the homeowner's insurance will take care of those hardwood floors, your carpeting, the, the sheetrock. And then you're like, what about my $800 water heater? That's where we come in. We take care of your actual water heater itself. So um, they, they work hand in hand. They just cover different things. We're gonna cover systems and appliances. They're gonna cover more due to nature. So uh, another really important thing with the winter coming up, um, sometimes your pipes burst. We don't cover things due to nature, like due to natural disasters like hailstorms uh, or frozen pipe leaks. It has to be due to normal wear and tear. They would cover those natural disasters. That's where your, your homeowner's insurance will cover something like that. Okay. So like the, uh, the pipe leaks that mess up your, your living room or whatever it comes in. And, and in a situation like that, I usually just and tell me if I'm doing this wrong. I usually, if something comes up where I'm a little unaware, I usually have them reach out to the home warranty company and the insurance company and then kind of see who covers what. But like you said, they typically work hand in hand. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. And you're always welcome to give my cell phone to any of your buyers. Also, I'm available like right before when they're trying to decide on what plans or right after the closing to do a welcome call. 
I think uh, one of the, the hardest things is whenever we see that the, the client, the buyer, um, does not realize the value of the home warranty and they their AC breaks down, they went out and they, they bought a new one or their water heater. And now eventually they remember and they want a refund. And unfortunately, no home warranty will take care of that if you didn't call it in first and let us diagnose it. And what, what, one thing that is great with, with our company is as long as we diagnose it, uh, we can go ahead and give them a cash out and they can use whoever they want. So like if they have a master cool, um, and they want refrigerated air, they can get the cash out value of that master coin, use it to upgrade for that refrigerated air. Mm -hmm. And you actually bring up a, a great point. Um, so we did a class, we've done a couple of different classes before this, obviously. And one of the things that um, I do with my clients and you know, for all, for all the realtors, it's really up to you if you wanna do this or not. But um, for my listings and for my buyers, I offer everybody a home warranty. Now for my buyers, typically I try to have it negotiated where the seller pays for the home warranty. Um, but there are some instances where, you know, if I can't get it negotiated, I'll pay for it out of pocket. This is actually part of my pitch on what it is that I offer my client that that stands out from other realtors. Um, so it's really nice whenever you're gifting a home warranty, whether you're gifting it or not. I mean, you did put that effort in to get them that home warranty. Martha does an excellent job at giving that uh, welcome call after they close. Um, I would recommend you guys do it maybe two days after they close, three days after they close, just because there's so much excitement and information and they're moving into the house and there's just a lot of moving parts. So give them a little bit of time to settle in, but after maybe three days to a week in, um, just let Martha know, hey, we just closed on this property. This is the package that they got, or this is the address. And she'll call and, and give them additional information on, hey, this is what you have. This is how to use it. And then you also give them the option to upgrade, which I think is um, a an added incentive because a lot of times we're only able to get, let's say we're going for the 500, but we only got $400 um, negotiated. That's enough to get you a package, but who better to explain the importance of upgrading to the, to the $500 package than Martha and she'll take care of that for you. Yes, and you're never going to get a call like, oh my goodness, this girl's trying to upgrade me. It's never, it's done yeah. very subtle. This is what you have. These are the options. You have 60 days in the event that you'd like to upgrade. This is how you do it. And then they have my information as well. Um, if they have any issues, I always let them know, like if they have any issues with service or anything that they feel that should have been covered, I always have them reach out to me as well because sometimes it's just it wasn't explained properly and we there's so much more, more that we can do at that point and and take into consideration guys that whenever you're talking about home warranties whenever somebody's in a position where they have to use their home warranty um this isn't that they're not very happy at this time this is when there's problems going on so it is crucial that they have good customer service at this point again just to just to kind of um refresh on why i like to use martha and old republic is customer service is i mean it, it really is detrimental to the deal in that in that situation because this is not usually a time where they're happy and you know th there's just problems going on so they need that extra customer service and thank you martha you always take care of my clients exceptionally well even on weekends even when it's a crazy situation um but like i tell my agents you know i don't bring anybody on that i don't that i haven't personally used or hasn't been highly recommended by somebody that i really trust miss martha is somebody that you know, I've been partnered with for years now, and she's really helped out my clients so much. Um, I'm sure there's some mistakes that I've made along the way, so I'd actually like to touch on that next. What are some of the most common mistakes that realtors make in regards to home warranties? Um, one of them is not ordering the warranty. Um, it happens, unfortunately, a lot, and they don't find out about it until they, there's actually an issue. And then title didn't catch it, the, the agents didn't catch it. So then they call us and it's like, well, there isn't a warranty for you, you know, on that or there, or it was never paid. That's another issue lately. Right now I have a little campaign going on because there were over 500 transactions in my toolbox 
that we never received payment for. Some of them just fell off. Some of them um, we're finding out are sitting, the check was sitting in the title. We're the last ones to get paid. Um, some of them, they went to a different home warranty. So it's just, um, I just, I'm just auditing, make sh making sure that, that everything is there. But that's another huge mistake, uh, issue overall, or not really giving it an importance to, um, to the warranty issue. Remember, you have your title company for a couple months, you have your escrow officer for a couple months, your inspector and appraiser for about a week or so. Um, and then you have your warranty for a whole year. And most of the time, not most of the time, some, many times we do see agents is like, oh, don't worry, let the, the seller's agent order it or what have you. When you, maybe when you have the buyer, um, it's, it's mainly, it's the buyer's agent's responsibility to make sure that this is done. And it's great for you to have some sort of a relationship with your warranty rep. And the reason for that is you can pick up the phone, you can text, it's like, hey, Martha, I need your help now. I need, this is going on now. Uh, versus uh, if the seller ordered it, you don't even know, um, you know where it went. And, and warranties are different. And I'll give you a really quick example. Sometimes they're gonna ask, let's say something happens within that first 30 days. Some of them don't cover the first 30 days. Some of them will ask you for that inspection report. And if it's on there, um, it's exceeded its lifetime, it's going to be excluded. Um, so that's another thing is not knowing the difference between one or the other, or really having, again, the, the basic uh, knowledge of, of the different coverages. So I'm glad that you brought those up. And, uh, and again, build a relationship with, with one of your warranty reps. So I'm here available, anything you need, and I'll show you my information right now. But, um, and, and that welcome call is so important because if they do, if your buyer decides to go out and get, you know, take care of that issue on their own, it's really hard to get that through and get them a refund because they do have a, a way, they, they do have to call us first and place a claim and then we take it from there. So those are the main problems that, that we do, that, that we see are happening, which is, I guess, about five different things that come up. Um, this is a question for me because I love your welcome calls. I find them very helpful and useful. What is a good day for you to do welcome calls? Like if I were to schedule a day to give you a reminder, what day during the week works best for you usually? Um, it, actually, any day. I have, I, I have time blocks when I just take care of calls. Um, most of the time, I'm not doing that much driving, but before even when I was driving, those are great because what I'll do, like let's say you send me a text, Here's a text, here's their info, or you emailed me. Um, I just take a screenshot and I'll, I'll call them while I'm driving, you know. And, and so right now it's a very brief, it's a one to two minute call. So anytime, and okay. if I can't get to it right then, I, I am going to take like the next, you know, 30 minutes after or so and so, but it'll be done um, as when you tell me, it's like, hey, they just closed, can you call them today okay. or can you call them in the next couple of days? And, and then I'll give you some sort of feedback as well. Okay. And, um, you know, but, but there, I think that's one of the things that really sets me apart from other agents, uh, warranty reps, is the fact that I do the welcome calls. Most people don't like to give yeah. out their number. So. Yeah, I don't know anybody else that does that, honestly. <laughs> um, and then you you said one of the biggest uh, mistakes that agents make is not ordering. Um, so what is the best way for us to order and for us to pay on those warranties? So the best way, most of the time they, they think that this, it's the title company's responsibility, first of all. They'll, most, most agents, even seasoned agents, they're like, oh, title forgot to order. The very best way to order is through your toolbox. And um, maybe another time I'd love to do, I have an awesome toolbox presentation. We can do just a hands-on toolbox. It takes about three minutes to set up your toolbox account and it takes less than a minute to actually do an order. And what's great about whenever you're in complete control of it is that you can see what was ordered. You can see, oh, wow, it, it, how come, Three months later, wait a minute, this closed three months ago and it still has not been paid. 
what's going on, it's going to give you that red flag to actually call the title company and follow up on it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the other way is any work that's ever done will be noted next to it. So you're in complete control. You can see all your warranty. So like a year from now, you'll be able to see, well, this one's about to expire. It's a great time to reach out to them and ask for referrals or congratulate them on their first time. Mm -hmm. And you have all that in your toolbox. Mm -hmm. um, whenever another agent orders it, most of the time they take credit for it. Or whenever title orders it, unfortunately, not that they're wanting to put it a, as a for sale by owner, but it saves them about 10 seconds. It's just come bringing up your office. You're usually all in the system and they'll put a for sale by owner just because it skips that information. And unfortunately, now your buyer has a 30 day waiting period but most important, you're not getting credit for that. And what I mean by that, let's say, you know, four months down the road, one of you has an issue and it's not covered. And you're like, Martha, what can we do? This is not a covered issue. We're not like black and white. We're gonna look at every th the gray area as well. And we look at the special situation. We're like, you know what? Look at all the business that we've gotten. Even though this isn't covered, let's do a goodwill on this. Let's cover 500 out of the 650 or let's cover 1,000 out of the 1,200 or 1,500 or something. Or sometimes we'll cover the whole thing. But they do look at your, your, all your warranties. So your toolbox is the best way. You can email me um, or text me. Email is better because I have all your information. And if you email me, it'll go under your account. You'll be able to see it. And um, that's going to save you time. So those two ways. I don't recommend you let other agent order it or call it in. It takes too long. They want to know, spell El Paso, spell this. <laughs> what would have taken you one minute to do in your toolbox or one minute emailing me with the information, it's going to take you about 10 minutes to do it on, on over the phone. So yeah. I agree. So um, for anybody that doesn't know what the toolbox is, isn't familiar, um, what we can do after this, Martha, because you did mention the PDF on the brochure. I think that's something um, that's really good for all the agents to have handy. Um, if you can email me the PDF and then email me the link, just so I, I know I have a PDF, but I want to make sure I have the most updated version. Um, so we can actually send that out to all the realtors and make sure that you guys all have that. So please save that. Um, and then we'll send you the link to the toolbox. And basically it's just the old Republic um, uh, website. You go in there, you create an account, and then we will definitely set up another training where you can come back and actually take us through the, the toolbox. Cause I have had that training. Um, there's awesome tools in that in, in within the toolbox. And that actually um, leads me into the next question is, why is it so important for realtors to have a good working relationship with a home warranty company such as yourself? Um, basically, because we're going to turn those fires off when they come, when they happen right afterwards. Unfortunately, and I remember this from being an agent, you know, sometimes three weeks later that AC went out and that agent would come back or the buyer would come back and say, you sold me this home. You should have known the AC was going to go out. And it's like, we did inspections, you know, it's, it, you have no way of knowing. So at that point you have someone, something to turn around and say, and even if they did decline, let's say the seller did not pay for the warranty, you still want to at least give them a brochure and at the bottom, the very last page, and you'll see it, Denise, maybe you want to put this on all your, your um, or, or make a folder of that. You decline coverage or you accept coverage, and this will pretty much protect you from it. So those are the, the, the different ways. But overall, the, the most important thing is um, you don't have to be an expert on learning all this. You give them the basics and then turn it over and say, you know what, here's her number. Um, ask her the questions. I'm more than glad to help you out on that. And again, it's never gonna, you're never going to get a call like, gosh, did this, that was annoying. They were, you know, it's going to be brief. It's going to be explained the right way. I'll usually send them a PDF and I give them an overview. Like I'll send to you, Denise, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll walk you through where um, everything is. And that way you'll know, and you, you can all view this and, and guide it from there. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, we touch on putting out fires so much, you guys, because that's what we do as realtors. Um, I had um, my first broker, Tony Delgado, he used to say, 
if you don't have problems, you don't have closings. And to this day, I use that slogan. And to this day, my, my boyfriend even tells me like when I come home and I'm stressed out, he's like, you have problems, right? So you have closings, right? Like it's, it's a motto that we go through, but um, really definitely the home warranties do help you put out these fires and solve these problems. But on top of that, um, the toolbox that, that is going to be offered to us, it actually has a lot of marketing tools for us too, you guys, a lot of free marketing. And I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you touch on the marketing. And while you do that, I actually have some of your marketing right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab it to show them. <laughs> This is, these are the many awesome tools, and these are just some that you have available. And I have an awesome, like I said, a great presentation, but I'm just gonna. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, so, and I'm gonna highlight just two. Um, this one here, this is a copywritten homeowner's manual. You can't get this anywhere else. You know, you have a manual for your vehicle, for your cell phone, your computer, but up to now there isn't actually an actual manual or resale transaction. These are all free in our toolbox. Mm -hmm. And what's great is that you can upload the picture of the home that you're closing on. Or if you're happening to have, if you happen to have a slower month, you can make a bunch of these and take them to your past clients and ask for referrals. So say, hey, I didn't have this when we closed. But this is this is a 20 pages of everything that they need to know on their home. How to do what to do in case of emergency, electrical, plumbing, gas emergency, summer maintenance, yearly maintenance, just about every sort of maintenance. And in the back, everything will ask for referrals on your behalf. And again, you can. Uh, this is one of the many many tools. The other great one that I just like to put on is going to be our newsletter. It's a great time to keep in touch with anybody out there that you come across. Let them know that you do real estate. This is going to take you less than 15 seconds to do once you create your toolbox. There's a health tip, a house tip, and a recipe. Mm -hmm. And what's great is that you're not having to reinvent the wheel. Everything is in there for you. Your photo will be up here, your company. And again, the hardest thing is setting up that account, which will be less than five minutes. Mm -hmm. And from there, you have so many awesome free tools available. But we'll have that. Class yeah. just and that's just touching on, you know, the partnership. Again, I, I talk a lot about, um, so you know, Martha, I talk to them a lot about building their team. And when I talk about the team, it's really, you know, the title company, the home warranty, the inspectors, who are these partners that you're going to use because they're going to come in contact with your clients and you always want your partners to be a reflection of your business also. Um, Marcos, I was actually talking to you about these recently this was one of the tools that helped me make my business um, in the beginning. And these are the door knockers. I don't know if you realize how much I love these, Martha. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, four different kinds. So. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I have them. <laughs> so I still have some of these, um, you know, so for anybody that's asking like, what, what is it that we can give the, the, the booklet that you showed, I've used those for closing gifts. I think that's a, that's a great closing gift. Not only is it very valuable to your clients, especially first time homeowners. Cause remember they're coming in with a lot of questions, concerns. They don't know what to maintain. Um, so that's really cool. And then keep in mind everything that you send out, all these marketing um, tools, they're, they're co-branded with your information on there. So yes, it has Old Republic on there. They've created all of this for you, but it has your information too. These little door hangers, it has a little slot for you to put your, um, your business card. This one's the open house one, but I know I have the uh, different versions also. Um, and so that's just an added benefit to how you can help each other with that partnership as well. Um, let's see, I, I know I had, well, so I guess really that's a, that's a good place to stop. I think we've covered really most everything before we go into the question and answers uh, with the agents in case they have any questions. How, how and where can they get a hold of you, Martha? So you can get a hold of me. The best way is going to be uh, via text. My, my phone is usually on silent, but I return every phone call. Every, so just say, hey, I have a quick question. Can you call me? Um, so my cell phone number is 915-801-8771.
That's 801-8771. And actually, I'll put it on the chat just in case. And then my email, I'm going to put it on here as well, is Martha M at um, 877. I'm giving you the wrong number. And my email is Martha M at ORHP.com. So again, if you don't want to do your own uh, ordering, you can say, hey, I have this this information or hey I need a welcome call or can you help me with this or this uh, why is this a denial can you look into it sometimes it's just a flat denial but if it's in here it should be covered so most important pages three and four what's covered not covered in limits and then in the back it's going to give you an overview but if it's in here it should be covered what's mm -hmm. covered not covered and any limits if there if it's not listed on here with limits that means that we have no limits like we don't have a limit on pools we don't have a limit on acs we do during sellers coverage but that's that's the most important thing so again you can and and if uh, i'll send you my uh the pdf brochures i'm going to send you both and i'm going to explain the difference on the crest and the regular one so you can have that and then she also has the brochures in english and spanish guys and they're also at our office so yeah i'll take the spanish version also please <laughs> but we'll send those out and then um we'll go ahead and open it up to you guys do you all have any questions for miss martha they're usually a little shy martha so <laughs> i hope you learned something today yeah. <laughs> awesome I think thank Connie, you, Martita, and thank oh, you for being left. Oh, you're welcome, Connie. Thank I, you, sweetie. Miss you. It's, I'm glad you got that. Yeah, so. thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for your information, too. Awesome. Well, thanks, Denise, for having me. I'm going to um, email you here shortly. Definitely. And just let you know whenever you guys are ready for that um, toolbox class very productive we can do a lot in 30 minutes and there's also like great information that you can start doing online we have a blog it's changed somewhat so just let me know what works for you definitely i'll reach out um see if we can get that scheduled i know i think we're booked already the next two weeks so maybe or maybe the second week um but we'll get together and we'll schedule something because for sure, this is a game changer, you guys. Make sure that you use it. Make sure that you go in there. Um, it's very user friendly, so you don't have to wait for the training either. You can go onto the website. We're gonna send you the link. All you have to do is set up an account and then go into the agent toolbox and just start looking at it, start playing with it, set up your account. It's gonna ask you for your picture. A lot of you have taken some awesome professional pictures recently, so put your picture in there and your information um, and you'll start seeing what all is on there. Um, but thank you so much for, for taking the time to talk to us, Martha. I really appreciate it. Um, I know they got a lot of value out of it. I know I got a lot of value out of it and uh, we'll definitely be in touch. Thank you. I look forward to working with you and help you grow your business and take care of your clients. So thanks for having me, Denise. You're welcome. Bye guys. Have a good day. Be Bye. productive. I hope you guys make a lot of money today. <laughs> Bye. Bye.